This video is to demonstrate batch saving images for your client. This video is for Elements. If you have Photoshop, um, see below this video for the link to the Photoshop video. Also below the video, check out the other links because they have important information relating to what I'm about to discuss here. So let's say you've edited a whole lot of photos for your client and you're ready to put them on disk or USB stick or maybe it's an upload, you're ready to give them to them. In my demonstration here I've just got a folder of JPEGs but of course in normal circumstances it would be PSD files with all your layers that you've been editing to make them look amazing. So I'm here in Faststone Image Viewer and I'm just going to view the tagged images only, the ones I've selected. Now I'm going to be opening these images up into elements so I can do the crop and then save them all. Depending on the power of your computer you might be able to open up 10, 20, 50 images at a time. Uh, I'll just do the first five here um, to keep things brief. So I've just selected them and they're opening up into elements. So the first thing I do is choose the crop tool press C to get that. Now at this point I need to clarify something important. Mainly in this video I'm going to be talking about preparing your images that you're selling or giving to a regular person, if you know what I mean, just a member of the public, maybe it's your friend or family member or a client. It's for their own family, their own use. In those, In that case, you crop the image to the 11 to 15 ratio that you've probably seen me talk about before. There's a link below the video with more explanation. Um, and in that case you were cropped to the 11 to 15 shape with no resolution imposed. Now the opposite to that is if you happen to be preparing these files to give to a publisher like a graphic designer or sending to a magazine, something like that. In that case, you don't crop to any specific size or ratio, and in fact, often it's best not to crop at all because they'll do that for you, but sometimes you know you want to crop a bit of something out. But no specific ratio, but you do want to crop it to 300 pixels per inch as I've got here. It's just good manners, I feel, to give 300 PPI images to those fellow professionals. Um, so if I was doing this, if these photos were being sent to a graphic designer, then I would have nothing in the width and height fields here, 300 in the resolution. I would crop maybe the whole image. Um, yes, I know that seems weird to crop the whole image, but um, in doing so, that would just make it 300 ppi. Or maybe I would um, crop in a little bit anyway there, um, and it would be ready to go. 300 ppi, no fixed size. I'm just going to undo that because in this demonstration that's not what I'm about. What I'm about is mainly talking about selling images to friends, family, clients. So in that case the resolution field would be blank and the width and height fields would be 15 IN for inches, 11 IN. Uh, 15 by 11 or 11 by 15 depending on uh, portrait or landscape orientation. Um, and so then I would go ahead and crop as desired. Now I probably would come in here a little bit on this one. And then I would hit control tab to go to the next image, going through these as quickly as possible. Pretty much the whole image for that one. Um, I want to go a bit tighter for this one. Enter control tab, might go portrait for this one, so I just click the little arrows here to flip the numbers around, now it's 11 and 15 rather than 15 and 11, and I would uh, crop there, this one might also work in portrait, just doing this very hastily of course, back to the first one that I did. Okay, so now that batch of photos I have open are already cropped at the 11 to 15 shape, no resolution imposed. 
So then I'm ready to batch save them all and to do that you go up to the file menu and down to process multiple files. This window has a lot of functions which you won't necessarily need for this. Um, first of all you want to choose where they're saving to. I've already done this. I've got an empty folder on my desktop called files for client so I've chosen that. You could rename them and even renumber them here. That kind of is a bit of a vexed one. Sometimes it's good to have nice, neat naming and numbering. But then if they ever came back to you and said, oh, image 17, I need such and such done to it, and the image 17 you have on your hard drive doesn't correspond to the image 17 you gave them, it can be a bit of a mess. Uh, you'll have to decide that for yourself how you're going to handle that. Definitely don't resize images here. Converting files to, yes, we want to turn that on because we want to save them as JPEGs. Um, I believe that high quality is fine for client images. Max is unnecessary. It makes for bigger files with no visual improvement. So high is great in most cases. We don't want to do any quick fixes. You've already done your editing. Um, we don't want to watermark. Um, well, maybe you do, but it's uncommon to watermark full size images. Um, if you were preparing these images for a website, then you would watermark them. Um, but that's kind of a different process because then you would be resizing them. I'm not going to talk about that here. Okay, so I've done that. I'm choosing the, all the open files. I'm saving them to there as high quality JPEGs. And here we go. I press OK. It will just go through and process those and close them all. And now if I go to that files for client folder on my desktop, I can see there that's the first five images which I've just saved. Now, uh, of course, if I were doing more than that, I would go through here, choose the next five or heck, even all of them, open them up. So you might be doing them in batches if you've got a lot. And if you've shot a wedding, of course, you will have a lot. Um, and so then once you're done, then you've got, you'd have this folder full of your files for client ready to burn to disk or to USB or maybe to zip and um, send via Dropbox or however you go about that. This is a fairly quick way to go about this cropping and saving process. I hope this has helped.